This is G with cars all the time, car search engine. I'm here at the Coffee and Cars event and I'm here with Mike. Uh, tell me about your car here. That's another orange car that we found out. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking it's the same color because the guy that built this was into Chrysler's. It's yeah. got a Chrysler drivetrain. This car came from Arizona. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell me what year it is. It's a 41 Chrysler Businessman's Coupe. Businessman Coupe, is that yeah. what they call it? Wow. It's, it was driven here from Arizona. It's 1,250 miles. Uh, father and son drove it here uh, straight through in 25 hours. Wow, 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 that's a long time. Uh, now, now the reason why it's called a businessman's coupe, what are they? Well, it's a three window, and originally all the businessman's coupe, they made them Chevrolets and Fords and all of them. Right. They had no back seat. It was the cheapest one you could buy. Right, right. And a lot of traveling salesmen used them, you know, for the room in the back. Okay, now let's look around this way. Rob, come around this way. Let's go back this way. This is a 400 cubic inch, like a mid-70s. I think the whole drivetrain come out of like a mid-70s Velari. The seats, the power seats, the tilt wheel and everything. I think he had a donor car. I got a lot of pictures of it. We're talking orange everywhere. Orange, orange, orange. The frame, <laughs> chassis and all. Oh, wow. Underneath also, huh? Yeah, the bottom side. Let's, let's go back this way and sure. look in, in, in the interior of your car. That's power windows, power seats. It's got Mustang 2 rack and pinion. It's also a power rack. It's got the vintage air. This is a 20 year old build. This is 20 year old paint. Wow, wow. Now, did it come with a cassette player or, or a track? Well, businessman coupe probably came with nothing. I know. <laughs> but down the road, they changed this car out. I know that. Now, let's so, go back here in the back. It's, it's a really nice driver. I drove it here from like Greens Point Mall area right. in north side of Houston. Right. I run 70, 75 mile an hour all the wow, way here. that's great, that's awesome. Now, uh, I see you got some nice wheels here and tires. Now tell me about, uh, it came with a car also, right? Yeah, I bought it just like this. I actually build cars, right. but I couldn't pass this one up being a non-rust car. Oh, that's smart, smart move. Rust makes a lot of difference. Yeah. Now, take a look back here in the back. Yeah, when you're a body man. Oh yeah, for sure. Now, fully carpeted back here in the back, and is this the gas tank? Yes. Wow, you see the gas cap right there is the gas, where you puts gas in. It's like, you don't mess up right here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've been threatening to make a, some kind of boot around it, but so far I haven't. I've had the car for just over a year. Oh really? Now yeah. take a look here, Rob, take a look. Little, now these are the turn signals? And brake lights, they're wow. LED, they're Frenched in. The fenders are also molded in too. Originally they had a seam and a body weld in between. Oh really? Yeah. Gorgeous car. Thank you so much, Mike. All righty.